Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. On the following videos we are going to cover lightning in Unity 5. For today we are going to focus on global illumination. If you enjoyed this video remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials remember to subscribe to our channel. Now as you guys can see I have a small scene set up that I'm going to use to exemplify how to work with lightning in Unity. I just created a small box with two colored walls, in this case the left and right walls that are blue and yellow, and I have the remaining walls white. And also inside the box I have a small sphere. Now global illumination is one of the new features of Unity 5. For our scene, we always want to make sure that we have direct and indirect lightning in order to get best results when rendering. Um, it, is important to, it is important to understand the difference between direct and indirect lightning. So direct lightning comes from any source of light and we can, we can already see it in action in our scene. For example, in our case we have a directional light and if you see the direction of the light you will notice that the light effect is applied with the same direction on the objects. As you can see the shadows here and the light hitting this area just like the direction of the light. So this effect is what we call direct lightning. Basically you have a light that goes directly from the light source to the object. The other type of lightning is indirect lightning and indirect lightning is when the light bounces from the surface of a game object into another object. As you guys can see in our scene we don't have that type of lightning right now so to give an example if I move the, the, the sphere next to our blue wall, we should see some blue color over the sphere from the blue wall because the light would bounce from the wall to the sphere. However, that's not happening. One of the ways to make this happen to use indirect lightning is to use static game objects. Uh, a static game object, like the name says, is an object that won't move, will be always, sta will be always static during the, um, the gameplay, so will not be updated. Uh, so how do we turn a game object static? Well, to turn a game object static we just select the game object, let's select our box here and next to the game object name here when we have box if you look here in front of the name you have a field called static right now this field is disabled which means that the game object is a dynamic object that can be, up, that will, can be updated during the gameplay uh, we wanted to turn this object to to static we just hit this field and now what unity is asking me is if we want to turn the children of this object static as well in this case the children are the walls of the box so yes we want to turn them static and you probably already noticed some changes in the lightning so what unity just did was to turn the game object to static and when the game object is turned to static it stops using uh, um, light lightning in real time uh, to the um, static objects instead unity will cr will calculate uh, based on the position of the objects of the scene and on the light source will calculate light maps that will be applied to those static game objects that what just happened and if you take a closer look 
in this area here where before we did not yes turn it to dynamic again in this area where we did not see any bluish uh, area if we turn this to static you will notice that it gets a little bit darker and a little bit bluish now if you change the the angle of your light source unity will automatically update and generate a new light map for you which is uh, actually great um, however if you take a closer look to the to the sphere we notice that okay we have some dynamic uh, direct lightning in our cube walls but we don't have any in, any indirect lighting in our sphere why because we are still using um, a dynamic sphere in order to see the dynamic uh, the indirect lighting in our sphere we need to turn it static so let's select the sphere and turn this game object static so unity is right now Exactly, you just finished calculating the light maps and if you take a look of this area you will notice that you got bluish. So we now have lightning that goes from the blue wall and from the blue wall it goes to the sphere surface, getting us the effect of indirect lightning and give us, giving us this bluish color in the sphere. Now this just is just how to use indirect lightning. Um, but now that we have indirect lightning in our sphere we have a small problem so the sphere is now static meaning that it is not an object that can be updated during runtime of the game so how you have uh, indirect lightning on dynamic objects for example like the player well on the next video I'm going to show you how to solve that by using also a new feature in Unity 5 called Light Probes. Uh, remember guys, the, import the important thing from this video, besides understanding the difference between direct and indirect lighting and how to set indirect in static objects, is to keep in mind that uh, the direct and indirect lighting are and the static and dynamic objects are very important for the performance of your games. So if you have uh, many objects, it, 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 it depends on the type of game you are creating, okay? So if you have a very heavy scene with many objects, um, if you use dynamic objects and you are expecting to use uh, indirect lighting in all those objects using light probes for example like I'm going to show you how to do it in the next video uh, it can become heavy for the rendering so in those cases the best solution is to use uh, uh, when you have for example probes in the scene that are not going to move just objects that are part of the scene of the scenario that are not going to be updated the ideal is to use um, is to turn them static objects and to use indirect lightning using static objects in those areas this will increase the performance of your games but again this depends from game to game if you have a simple game probably you don't have the need to do this um, so just keep that in mind uh, because if you use uh, dynamic objects all the time it can create uh, some performance issues when rendering uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and see you see you guys in the next tutorial about light props until then and have a nice day